Welcome to another video. This week has been a little intense with the problems that I've done, so we want to wrap up the week with a problem that's super easy. Well, at first, for some people, it might look like this is a challenging problem, but it's very easy, the easiest of the week. So we want to find the largest possible integer k, such that this series, 1 plus n plus n squared all the way to n to the 127 is divisible by n to the k plus 1. Now, at first, you, you might go, okay, am I supposed to do long division or what am I supposed to do? None of that is relevant. It is all algebra, just basic factoring. Let's get into the video. So looking at the series, you can see that there's nothing complicated about it. The first term is 1, the next time is n, next term is n, followed by n squared. Notice that each term is multiplied by n to get the next term. So it looks like we have a common ratio of n. This must be a geometric series. And if we have a geometric series, there might be a short form of writing it, considering the fact that we're going to be doing some division. So we know that you could write this geometric series in a short form by just adding all of the terms together. If you add all the terms together, you get the sum of the geometric series. Remember, recall that the sum of any geometric series is equal to the first term multiplied by the common ratio raised to power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Once you're able to rewrite this like this, then you can figure out if you can do a division. In fact, the division is now possible because you have an easier polynomial to, to, polynomial to divide. Let's find all the ingredients we know from here that a sub 1 is the first term equals 1. Now, what is the common ratio? Our common ratio is n. Well, maybe I should not have used n here in this formula. Um, let's use, but this is a general formula, so we might call this r to the i. Okay, I might use i, okay? So, so you don't get confused, okay? <laughs> so, now, where i is the number of terms in the geometric series. Okay, we need to know that. So this exponent here is the number of terms in the geometric series. Now, how many terms are in this series, starting from 1 to this? It's going to be 128 of them. How do we know? Well, because if you start from here, this is n to the 1 all the way to n to the 127. So that's 127 terms. And then this one, which is n to the 0. So the number of terms i is equal to 128. So we can now write this. This then becomes, this is now equal to the sum of the 128 terms will be equal to the first term, which is 1, multiplied by r, the common ratio. What's the common ratio? n to the i, 128 minus 1, divided by the common ratio, which is still n minus 1. So you notice that this one is not effective because one times anything is that. So we're just, we're just going to leave it this way. So, because this is in the denominator, if you want to do any dividing, you can only divide the numerator of a fraction if you're dividing, okay? So, it means if at all we can divide this by this, then n to the k plus 1 can only divide the top. Okay? If n to the k plus 1 divides n to the 128 minus 1 over n 
minus 1, then n to the k plus 1 is a factor of n to the 128 minus 1. So the question we just have to ask is, what is the biggest value of k such that this can divide this? We would have said the answer was 128, but this is plus 1 and this is minus 1. So we need what we're dividing to have a plus. So the only manipulation you can do here is to see this as, because the exponent is even, as the difference of two squares. So, notice that n to the 128 minus 1 is the same thing as n to the 64 squared minus 1 squared, which is the difference of two squares. So we have n to the 128 minus 1 can be written as n to the 64 minus 1 times n to the 64 plus 1. And this looks very similar to this if k is equal to 64. If you want to go smaller, well, you can't touch this because you cannot break down the sum of two squares. You can still work on this one, but what happens is this becomes n to the 32 minus 1 n to the 32 plus 1. That's what you can break this into, but that's not the maximum. The question says find the largest possible, and based on what we've seen, any other thing you do to this is going to reduce the exponents, so this is the largest possible that you can get. Since n to the 64 plus 1 is the largest factor of n to the 128 minus 1, we conclude that k is equal to 64. Cha! Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.